In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this glitch effect in HitFilm Express. To get started, drag the clip you'd like to add a glitch effect to onto your timeline. Then with it selected, click on the Make Composite Shot button. The default settings work fine, so just hit OK. Over in the media bin, I imported a glitch overlay video from YouTube. Now you don't have to use this exact glitch overlay, but if you want to, just follow the link I provided in the description. Once you have a glitch overlay imported, drag it underneath your main video in the composite shot. Then click the eye toggle next to the glitch video to hide it. Next, go over to the effects panel and type displacement into the search box. Drag the effect onto your main video. Now let's open up the displacement settings. Change the source layer to your glitch video. And I'm also going to increase the max horizontal displacement to 200 and the max vertical displacement to 175 so that it has a bigger glitch. Okay, and now when I play this back, I have a glitch video effect. Now this looks good, but let's say you want to add an RGB split to the glitch effect like I have in the intro. To do this, select your main video and press Ctrl D twice to make two duplicates. Then select each of these layers and hit the F2 key on your keyboard to rename them. Name the bottom clip as red, the middle one as blue, and the top one as green. Now open up the displacement effect for the blue layer. Change the max horizontal displacement to 150 and its vertical displacement to 125. After that, open up the displacement effect for the green layer. Change the max horizontal displacement to 100 and its vertical value to 75. Alright, now let's go over to the Effects tab and search for Levels Histogram. Drag the effect onto each of the three color layers. Then open up the Levels Histogram effect onto your red layer. Change the channels to blue. Then decrease the blue output white to zero. Change the channel to green. Decrease the green output white to zero. Next, open up the Levels Histogram setting under the blue layer. Change the channels to green. Decrease the green output white to zero. Change the channels to red. Decrease the red output white to zero. Then open up the Levels Histogram setting under the green layer. Change the channels to blue. Then decrease the blue output white to zero. Change the channels to red. Decrease the red output white to zero. Okay, we're done with these settings, so I'm just going to collapse all my layers. Now, while holding down the Shift key, click to select all of your color layers. Then right-click them and hover over Blend. Select Add. Alright, and when I play this back, we have a nice looking RGB split on our glitch effect. It might be a little laggy like mine, but once you render it out, it'll look like the effect from the intro. Okay, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.